Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. In today's episode, I'm gonna take you through one of the most over the top things I've done for this fish tank. And strangely enough, that's adding Philips Hue LED lights to my cabinet. All right, so yes, I've spent a crazy amount of money getting lights into my cabinet, but um, it's all to have a little bit of fun and also hopefully to integrate a little bit of the smart home solution into my aquarium cabinetry. All right, I guess we'll start off with how I've installed the lights and then I'll run through some of the features that they've got and um, we'll go from there. So let's uh, have a closer look at these here Philips Hue lights. Okay, so to get the job done, I've used Philip, Philips Hue shape lights. These are basically just their... Uh, all color variety of uh, two meter strip lights. And as I touched on before, I could have just bought one of the main kits and then some extensions, but I wanted these to be three individual lights so that I can do some cool things with the colors and um, do a little bit tricky stuff with the application. Now, you will also notice that these are Bluetooth compatible, which means you don't actually need the Philips Hue hub. You can run these straight from your phone. However, if you do want to do those integrations and use the API, you're going to need the Philips Hue hub to make that happen. All right, so as you can see, I've installed the uh, two meter strips just around three sides of each of the squares. So I've deliberately left the back wall without the lights because when you're looking from the front of the cabinet, if you come in here, you don't necessarily want to see the lights aiming straight back at you. You want the light to be shining from the sides and the uh, front back down into the sump. So that gives us three two meter runs of um, lighting. Now, I could have got some extensions and just had one string of light However, I decided that for the minimal cost to make these three separate strings of light gave me some uh, cool little features and I'll run through some of those uh, little gags and things we can do now, but it did also make wiring things a little bit easier because I didn't actually need to join these up at all. I could just run them to the end of where, that, uh, where the strip terminates and then run the cable out the back to its own little power pack. You can see with the high gloss clear acrylic base up here, or base of the tank, which then becomes the roof of the cabinet, and this uh, beautiful white uh, waterproof board on the back, combined with the acrylic um, white floor or belly pan of the um, cabinet, we get a super, super reflective surface that these lights just absolutely sing off, which uh, just keeps everything nice and bright for when you're working in the sump. You open up the cabinet doors, you're greeted with this nice bright light, let you see everything that's happening in the sump. So um, if you're chasing that, um, that fish that's gone down your overflow, or you've uh, dropped the nut of one of the um, bulkheads or something, it's gonna be lit up so much that you're gonna be able to see it quickly and easily. So I keep talking about APIs and doing smart things or uh, tongue in cheek things is a bit of a laugh with the cabinet lighting. I guess I better show you some of the examples. So the first one I've got is when someone calls the Tang police, your sump can then respond like this. And of course, something that has been done with reef tank lighting for quite a while now, and that's to have a lightning thunderstorm. Next up, we've got Halloween just around the corner and um, with COVID, Halloween's gonna be a little bit different this year, but uh, thankfully my tank's gonna be able to partake in the action with its own horror theme. This next one I'm definitely going to use the moment that I get water in this tank and that's to celebrate with some fireworks. And this one's one of my daughter's favorites. I know sometimes when you can be scratching your head with the tank and you're just trying to track down a gremlin in the system, I think I found him hiding in my sump. Uh, 
And last but not least, when Christmas rolls around, it's good to get your tank in the spirit of things and run its own little Christmas celebration. Alright guys, I'm being a little bit silly here showing you some of the features and I'm probably not going to use that much on the tank. However, it does give you an idea of the type of things that are capable and all of these functions can be accessed either via the Philips Hue app itself, third party apps, or if you're a bit of a coder like I am, you can jump straight into the API which Philips Hue provide to the public, which gives you the ability to send commands to your Philips Hue lights directly from the web. So depending on um, some of the things that are happening with the tank, if um, I want to do it so when a door opens or if the tank temperature gets too hot or if I want to do it so that it's a particular time of day or if I haven't fed the fish yet or something, something that requires some sort of notification to me from the tank, I'm going to be able to set these lights to change to whatever color, brightness, um, strobing effect, whatever I want to do. Um, the limit is pretty much your imagination with these things and I guess that's the difference between a um, a fairly expensive, let's be honest, uh, these, these little guys here are not cheap. They run about $130 Australian each. And yes, I had to put three of them on here just to light up my cabinet. Crazy, I know, but what do you do? That's the difference between a cheap LED light and an expensive LED light. And I know when I uh, put up a couple of those sample videos the other day, I had a few people ask me why I wouldn't just go one of the cheap Alibaba LEDs. That's why, because um, the feature or the, the the function of these LED lights is not just to light up the cabinet, it's actually to do some more smarts like that. Plus, I've actually got our entire house fitted out with Philips Hue lights from the front door all the way through to the bedroom and uh, they're integrated in our smart home solution which tell us all sorts of things depending on um, whether we're watching a movie, whether someone rings the doorbell, you name it, our lights will tell us what's happening. All right guys, I'll wrap it up there. I just thought I should go into a little bit of detail. I know it's um, probably not gonna be right up everyone's alley, but um, I thought I should at least take the time out to explain to you guys what I've done for my cabinet lighting. Um, yeah, it's completely over the top. It's a little bit wanky, but um, I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, <laughs> if you've got any questions, comments, feedback, pop it in the comment section down below. If you wanna see more novelty things like this, along with some non-novelty things with some uh, real functional updates to come with this reef tank in the coming weeks, be sure to hit that subscribe button down at the bottom corner. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Let's the YouTube algorithm know that you thought it was a good video and you think other people should watch it too. Anyway, guys, I'll leave you with it. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, stay safe, keep reefing.